It was when I was nine years old, and it's one of the few times I can ever remember seeing my father crying. I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and in 1957, Henry Aaron was the star baseball player on the Milwaukee Braves, and my father was crying because the newspaper that he was reading reported that Henry Aaron was not permitted to buy a house in the suburb that we lived in, Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. So if back then even celebrities could not access the justice system, it says an awful lot. There's a separate language that's used in the courtroom among lawyers and judges that, that those who are proficient in English, uh, if they're not a lawyer, they don't know how to, uh, uh, to, to really handle the language. So it's really all the process, all the procedure, and simply finding your way around the courthouse can be an obstacle in and of itself. He makes me look good, and he's pulled together so many fabulous committee members of lawyers and judges to bring through collaboration, through partnership, uh, through a real blend, a mixing of, of ideas, of concepts, and of uh, actual details of how to get things done in the courthouse and in the court system as a whole. It's been as rewarding an experience as I could have ever hoped to have had in my career. Chief Justice Kilbride has been unbelievably supportive of the efforts to improve access to justice in Illinois. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say that he's been unbelievably supportive individually and as a representative of the court. One of our colleagues, Judge Laura Liu, who's one of the co-chairs of our Language Access Committee, came in one day and said, do you know what the only sign is in Spanish, in the lobby of the Daily Center. And no one knew. And the answer was, it's a sign that says, judges only, barring access to justice. A statement, a symbolic statement for all of us who are working in this area about what we want to change. I was, I believe, an officer of the Chicago Bar Foundation, and I confess I barely knew what the internet was. I tried to have an open mind to it. I think I was probably one of the more skeptical people, but what I saw was an unbelievable idea that has helped hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people in the last many years now. My impressions from the, from the get-go have been that it's really a, not only an imperative kind of function to be performed within our court system, but you're, you're hitting the mark. And uh, I can't thank you enough for what you're doing for our court system. Well, mine's uh, simple. Got it right. Visionary extraordinarily helpful. That's three words right there.